Hello everybody, this is Imran, Jamil once again. Today I brought something totally different. Now, you know, we are all spoiled with new motorcycles and it's a whole breed of new motorcycles. In the past, especially 10 years or so, the technology has moved so fast and rapidly that all the conveniences that even were a surprise for cars to have now are included in motorcycles like adaptive cruise control, not to mention the ABS and uh, cornering ABS, traction control, cornering traction control, blind spot monitoring, heated seats, heated grips, navigations, uh, and a, a whole suite of other technological uh, uh, advancements, including communication systems. Sometimes um, I do miss the purist's approach to motorcycles where, you know, you really had to uh, enjoy the raw nature of motorcycling. Recently, I got a chance to uh, relive those memories and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I uh, went on a small group ride with a couple of our, our fellow riders and I rode a 2011 Yamaha Striker uh, with the 1300cc V-twin engine with no frills but everything that you need. And uh, I am so pleasantly surprised because it's been such a long time that I rode a bike that did not have ABS, that did not have traction control, that did not have any of the other amenities, uh, except that, you know, it had an engine, a great transmission, a beautiful exterior with the black on black trim. And uh, it was surprisingly comfortable. Generally, it's a chopper style, right? So generally chopper style is not very comfortable. It's not very easy to ride. And uh, all the negatives that are associated with chopper style, that they're just, uh, they're just the kind of bikes that you would take out on a weekend and uh, go uh, around town and then come back. That's not the case. Uh, this particular one really surprised me a lot. And uh, in chopper style, I have ridden a few bikes. This one ranks the top. It's not even the Raider version, which is a 1900cc. Uh, it's based on the same bike. So this is 1300cc. First of all, the sound of that engine is phenomenal. Then the overall comfort of the seat was fantastic as well. The riding position is a stretch for me because I don't generally like the forward foot pegs, but this one was relatively comfortable because the handlebar, handlebars came actually quite far, so it wasn't uh, as bad. But besides that, once I got on the road, and it was raining also in the morning, so I had to take uh, it a little easy, but after when it dried out, I kid you not, I so thoroughly enjoyed it because there's one thing to go fast and another that you're not going fast but you're just enjoying every component of the machine that you're riding and that striker offers that. Uh, sound, overall handling was the biggest surprise. That it handles like a dream but obviously it is only limited uh, by the ground clearance uh, so there it's been a long time since I touched my foot on the ground going through a few curves but uh, that's also a good feeling but overall it's uh, very nimble very responsive and a joy to ride overall and great presence uh, and with the sound that it makes it was, a, it was a dream come true and a great experience after a long, long time. And I thank my friend, uh, Sohail. So uh, it, was, it was a joy for me. So have a good one and enjoy the video. Take care.
This was the beast I was riding, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, the burble, the sound, overall character. The overall ride is very smooth also, and uh, the suspension really took the bumps very well. Other than that, the handling was only limited by the ground clearance. Otherwise, it's quite maneuverable, contrary to the belief of the long rake uh, type bikes. So, really impressed with that. All right, have a good one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you.